Here's some suspense, but before I commence, please excuse my inexperience, and I'm sorry if I look tense. I'm just not used to speaking about how far I've come. Just ask my mom. I'm the type of girl who tries to dance to the beat of her own drum. On the other hand, if you're lucky enough to understand, I'll have you hypnotized like a kid who just discovered their favorite candy brand. My first avid teacher was Mrs. Wempy, a little lady with lots of heart, treated us with respect, the big sister I never had. Then came Mrs. Graham, who just wanted us to grow. So she'd call us out when we were forcing and go with the flow as she let us know. Currently, there's Mrs. Newman, a really nice teacher who packs a punch, makes her students feel like family. They're like a mutated Brady Bunch. <laughs> <clears throat> you see, they all have one thing in common. They represent everything I used to resent. Organization, direction, leadership, and success. I've always been a fluent truant, the opposite of prudent, the hippie anti-student, an alien, a mutant. Could you blame me? <laughs> Things around me just didn't seem okay. Mom and dad slaving away, working for too many days <laughs> for too little pay. Brother fumbling and tumbling, an ex-thug with two daughters and a son. Dropped out junior year to fall in love and flip buns. Got a GED. <laughs> <clears throat> Got a GED, I'll give him that. <laughs> but is that it? Working daily at a limited job? I wanted more out of life. Didn't want to follow any footsteps or end up at a boring occupation where I'd have any regrets. All bets off? I wanted results. I wanted them fast. Thought if I lived in denial, my youth would last. Perhaps I could catch lightning in a bottle before it passed, but you could keep running all you want. Eventually, you get gassed and you're four. <laughs> and you're forced to turn around and question your past. The answer is simple. It's sitting right there. It's raw, it's uncut, and to the world, it's quite rare. Less than 1% achieve it on a global scale, which sounds like a line straight out of Shakespeare tale, simply tragic. And it's not magic, it's politics. And giving up on this, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> it's nervous, okay. Um, and giving up on this answer is best done in opposites. The answer is college, and college is knowledge. Knowledge is progress, and during the process, there's no time for nonsense. We beg and we plea and we bow down our conferences, tailor our words to some old dude's preferences. Slay of a scholarship, all in hopes of impressing the advocates who paved the way and led the journey. Through tests and homework and up at five in the morning, got that cereal in a cup, texting and yawning, speeding through yellow lights, warning, warning. Whether it's the American dream or the Olympic team, we all set goals for the future. Know what I mean? And it's crazy. Minorities aren't lazy, they're oppressed. And I know that type of language doesn't impress. <clears throat> But I'm a simple human being. Just look at how I dress. Don't get it twisted. I'm not here to address the world or the mess that we as humans have created or the problems we've evaded. If anything, I'm happy. I'm just happy that I made it. Avid has changed me for the better. It kept me on the path, encouraged me on those days when I was ready to give up, and now I've got this in the bag. Got accepted to UST in November. <laughs> I ain't ready to celebrate. First time I swallow my pride and dish out the thanks. To all the students who inspired me at random occasions for their drive, their awesomeness, their goals and aspirations, my fellow avid colleagues, my equals, my peers, earned my undying admiration only a few months and years. Thanks to all the tremendous teachers who changed my views and provided me the tools for me not to be confused. They infused the classrooms with play and work. And for what it's worth, they're the realest and most caring. You know that's the word. 
patient and resilient teachers who kept it live, where the applause and a million high fives with a billion chocolates for their gazillion strives. <laughs> <clears throat> Julius Caesar came, saw, and conquered, but I will succeed, engage, and discover. Close this huge gap, it's now or never. Hold my avid experience near and dear forever, and for future endeavors I shall always remember to go through that four-year struggle, never slack. Hustle, hustle, Cornell notes during class and tutorials when I'm in trouble. Create an academic bubble that can't be popped. I control my destiny. I can call the shots. Once I'm educated, I will not be stopped. This is a proven achievement, like it or not. Lifelong advantage? Why, of course. Mic drop. <laughs>